Hey everyone, Alex here and welcome to this look at Scourgebringer. Scourgebringer is like Devil May Cry meets Celeste, but in like uh, retro pixel style. Uh, basically, Goro here is sleeping. I don't know what's up with him. We got a bestiary here. Uh, we can take a look at all the different types of things we've been fighting. I'm relatively early in the game, just been playing for maybe an hour or two. And uh, what this game is hard. It's damn hard. And uh, you get these judge bloods uh, when you complete kind of like mini bosses. And you could put them towards additional skills. And... Um, you know what? I think I'm going to take this. I'll take the lethal club. Let's do it. Let's smash uh, enemies back at them. Sure, we'll do that. So we just unlock that, which is great. Now let's jump in here. This game is super hard. There is kind of like a little way that you can kind of modify the difficulty slightly. And you could um, increase the opportunity for you to pull uh, additional healing, which is pretty valuable. And I've done that. Um, let me see here. So we got the dash. It's all like it's all about attacking. The, it's fast and furious action. All right, here we go. We got that smash attack there. Oh, I just took damage. How did I take damage? Well, that's what I'm talking about. I just reduced the difficulty slightly by allowing additional drops. I mean, they don't drop every single room, but they drop more often than they traditionally do on the hardest difficulty, which, like, I started with. I always start with, like, the hard difficulty or whatever, and man, did I get punished. But, I mean, if you've been watching this channel for any amount of time, you know that I'm not a particularly good gamer by any means. If anything, I'm a complete trash at everything I play. But, what I will say is that um, I like the idea that games can have, like, modifying difficulty settings. Because, like, had, it, had I not been able to modify the difficulty slightly, like, I probably would have been turned off from this game. And, I'll be honest with you, I kind of like it. It's kind of really neat. And uh, I think part of that is because of the ability to kind of modify that slight difficulty so we got a, an altar of blood here and uh ooh, so i can get four blessings from additional altars now i don't know if i'll get that far okay so we can reload uh, reload our gun we can stun people for more time you know what let's let's stun them for longer because that's like our ultimate there i like stunning if we can all right so let's uh we gotta go down here okay we're gonna go to the right so we're exploring the rooms we got a little map there at the top right i don't know if you noticed that or not Look at this heavy metal soundtrack, by the way. So these four things are spikies. They will stab you. Oh, I sh that was a bad play. Very bad play. So they're stunned. They're taking more damage while stunned. So I got to use my smash attack more often. And the cool thing about the game, too, you got to dash. But, like, when you're attacking, you kind of float in the air. Which is kind of neat. I got a gun. Just use my gun there. And I took more damage. Okay, we got a map. Reveals the entire map. Sweet. Okay, so... Let's go right. So right, these are just battle rooms. I don't necessarily need to do these. Okay, if we have the map, I don't know why I took this room here. There's a big guy there. Big Devil, I think it's called. Oh, I don't want to take... Oh, no, I took damage. But there is some health. We increase our health by one. That's actually a random drop. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go up here. There's a checkered room. I'm not even sure what the checkered room is. Ooh, it's a shovel. That works really well for me because now we're going to do additional stun uh, damage. And we increase the amount of stun damage we have already from the blood altar. So that works out. Okay, let's go down here. So I can see on the map there's that little eye thing. That's the judge blood. We definitely want those. That's like our long-term kind of perma progression. Like this is a roguelite, right? So basically every single run's a little different. But uh, the judge blood is what we use to make... Oh, come on. How did I not hit that guy? Thankfully, I healed up there. All right, come on. Oh, got to get that guy. Stun him, stun him. We got to stun more enemies here. There we go. I'm going to get that judge ball. We're going to have to fight a boss, though. Where you at? Whoa, we took some damage there. Got to stun him. No! I'm taking so much... Am I going to die here? Come on. Okay, we got him. We got him. We got him. Whew. All right, so we get to inc increase our gun damage, but I am injured, hurt, and not happy about it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the room down. We should be able to go left, right? Yes, we can. All right. The movement really reminds me of Celeste, which is a compliment, by the way, because Celeste is fantastic. 
Oh no, oh no, don't die, Alex. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Okay, we stunned him, and oh, we got health just in time. Alright. What's in this room? Add a modif modification slot to the selected weapon. So we got a mod slot. Sweet. Now, am I going to be able to fight through multiple rooms to get to that blood altar and heal? I don't think I will. So I'm going to go down here and maybe we try the boss. Can I actually fight this boss? Let's find out. Now, I've been fighting this guy. And I'm going to tell you right now. So, I'm going to die. I don't have enough health. Yeah, so. Alright, so that was the first run, and we, we died. Let's do a quick second run there. Let's do a quick second run. So we're back to the chiming tree. Let's go. What do we got here? He's sleeping. We don't need that. Now, we could invest this in something. Create a wave upon landing on the ground. Could do that. But I kind of really want... We can fast travel. I kind of want this. I kind of want to build up my strike, so let's save, let's save onto our, uh, Judge Blood, we'll call it. <laughs> What's this guy? Hey, Peppy! Thank you so much, giving us a little help, thank you so much, Peppy. So, increased our health, increased our stun damage, increased sword damage, blaster damage, and unsettling. <gasps> so we have, like, an actual machine gun? Okay, I've never had this before. Oh, yes. All right, Alex. We're off to a good start now. And again, even if we're, I was having a little bit of difficulty, like, the game throwing you some love there, I mean, that's pretty awesome. There we go. Stun and win. Okay, let's go. So, I gotta go down here now. I find that the, the start of the room is always easier. And then it gets harder here. There we go. Now, I should mention, during that little dash, you're not invulnerable. You can definitely take damage during the dash. These little gun dudes. Gotta kill this guy right away. No! Don't hit me! No, I took damage. I knew I was gonna take damage. Thankfully, we got our health back. Okay, I'm gonna take the blood altar down here. Oh, it's not a blood altar. I could sacrifice health. Man. So if I give up two health, I increase my max health by two. Oh no, I thought, oh, okay, so I actually gave up two health, okay. I thought I was going to, oh, here's the blood. So when you collect blood on the bottom right there, you can invest in stuff, but I never have enough money for that. So I gotta heal up or something. Okay, come on, come on, come on, Alex. Have a good run here. Come on. Make the people proud, damn it. Yes, reload faster. Oh, that's just a full reload. Do I go down here? Let's see what's down here. It's the last room in this area. Come on, I'm just floating down. There we go. Good job, good job. Here we go. It's funny, the action is so fast and furious. Honestly, it like, it really like, it's... It's surprisingly, like, agile. Like, it feels good to play. Ah, I took damage. I took more damage. I'm disappointed in myself. I'm disappointed in myself. And you can be disappointed in me, too. It's okay. I, uh, expect that. No, get away from me. There's a stun. Oh, I took damage. No, I'm reflecting things back. Trying to anyway. Okay, we're still okay. We're still okay. Let's see what's over here. The boss room. Okay, we gotta find the judge blood first. This thing. It's the Matrix. It's the Matrix. I don't understand either. Okay, come on, let's go. Alright, nice quick room. We gotta go top. Smiley face. It's gotta be good, right? There's an altar. What are you giving me? What are you giving me? Reveals the shop's position on every map? Okay. Okay. I'll take the floor is lava. So as long as I'm in the air or touching walls, I get additional damage for each enemy I kill. 
Okay, that's cool. So as long as they don't touch the ground. No, come on. There it is. We gotta find this judge blood, damn it. Oh, oh. Okay, go. Let's go find the judge blood. Find the judge blood. Easy room. Easy room. Easy room. Stunned and dead. That's it. Look at that. I'm almost making it look like I'm good at this game. I'm not. Uh oh. Jump, jump, jump. So many rooms. Where's the judge blood at? No! Don't hit me! Got it. Okay, we gotta go all the way down. Should have unlocked that, uh, what's it called thing? Uh, fast travel. Should have unlocked fast travel. I did not, though. Okay, this is a better run, though. Alright. What's this? Increases stunned enemy damage. Okay. Oh, there's the judge blood to the right. We got this guy. Let's go. Is it the same guy every time? I actually don't know, to be honest with you. Oh! Come on, he's stunned, he's stunned, he's stunned, get him. Got him, easy. Fully reloads. And we got some health. Okay, now we can fight the boss. Let's actually beat this boss. We're not gonna beat this boss, he's hard. But I can use my, I can reflect bullets back at him, right? We can reflect bullets back, which is good. Oh, no, can't do that. I have enough, okay, I have enough. I don't want a revolver. I have that. Increase the sword damage or get health back? Let's take sword damage. We got it. This boss is ours. This boss is ours. Let's go. We're gonna get destroyed. Alright, here we go. Is he stunned? No! Okay, I gotta, I gotta knock that back. Like that. Oh, it's not working. Come on, yes, no! Oh no, Alex! Damn it, you gotta knock it back! Beat him, beat him, beat him, beat him! No! No! But as you can see, you know what's up. Now we're back at the chiming tree. But anyways, guys, this this is Scourgebringer. It's a lot of fun. It's damn hard. I should just unlock these things. Okay. Yes. Yes, I'll take this, but I'm not unlocking much uh, blood at all. But anyways, guys, if you'd like to see more, let me know in the comments, right? I just want to give you a quick primer on the game. It is pretty interesting. There's a lot of fun to be had here. And uh, I just need to figure out how to beat these bosses. I can beat these dudes, all right? That's not bad. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And a very special thank you to all of my wonderful subscribers. We'll see you next time.